Yeah. How do we get there? With your feet, maybe. Ah. All right, so here we are with Paris AV. So amazing that wherever we go on earth, there's always a cube of truth in the middle of whatever city it is. It's just amazing how far this has spread. People standing there doing outreach with individuals who probably have never seen anything like uh, what happens in a slaughterhouse before. Just worldwide viral vegan education. It's so good to see. Just walking up to it is just, Inspirational, I love it. There's a fire inside your heart. And let it light up the world. Light up the world. Oh, um, brother, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, I think see you that I'm vegan. Now, wow, so really that's awesome. To, to see you. Oh, you got a vegan hat. This is my vegan hat. <laughs> yeah. Do you care about the oceans? Yeah, so basically, animal agriculture contributes to every uh, major environmental destruction we face, yes. uh, leading cause of Amazon deforestation, ocean dead right. zones, uh, global warming, Pollution. land use, water use, water use. Yeah. all these animals need food to eat and they right. grow the grain, 50% right. of the world's grain is fed to animals in livestock production, we have right. starving people in countries that don't have food, that's right. and also the abuse that's inherent in the industry can't be avoided, mm -hmm. they are all, no matter how how high welfare slaughterhouse you go to, a bolt gun in the head slashed across the throat and dismembered into pieces. Sentient life, like all, all other species, they want to live, desire a life of freedom, and we take that from them when, when we purchase animal products. Mm -hmm. So the reason we talk to consumers is because talking to industry when they're making money off of demand is impossible. They won't change, why would they? Talking to consumers, though, changes where the money goes, and we boycott these industries and essentially they stop doing this to animals and the planet. Mm -hmm. And that's our only hope, is basically consumers. I appreciate it. Really hard. It was difficult. It was hard to get here. Didn't, yeah. You, you get in? You could he was it? environmentalist, yeah, but yeah, hard to, I couldn't bring anything out. Come out of there. Why does, does the rainforest does matter? Resume. Why does the rainforest matter? Uh, like because to, for our oxygen. For supply. oxygen. So, so, because it. So, also, cause it, habitat for those native tribes there in Brazil the in particular. Okay. Because yeah. it impacts us directly. So, we care about human beings and our sentient life. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He said he cared about the rainforest. And I said, well, why does the rainforest matter? He said, because of our oxygen. I said, so you care about human sentient life. And I said, for the same reasons you care about human sentient life, we extend that to other sentient life. Yeah. So we extend that same care that we do for human sentient life to other sentient life as well. Uh, the rainforest, obviously, a lot of different species live in the rainforest. You know, chimpanzees and monkeys and uh, tigers and elephants. But we would say, like, yeah, they, they're all important species. Human beings are an important species. But cows, pigs, chickens, lambs, fish, the way they see reality is not too much different to the way these other animals do and the way that we do. It's too much of a jump. He couldn't, he was human supremacist in his value system. So, it's hard. You planted the seed, mate? Yes. I did, he was we planted the seed. very carefully. He did. Yeah, and she as well. Yeah. Halfway through 14 countries. Wow, with how many people? Just me and my man over there. Abdullah, the legendary cameraman, the man behind the camera. Do you understand what vegan is? Yes. Vegan, you know yes. what vegan means? Yes. Yes. Ah. But I love meat, but when I watch this, it's awful. I used to love meat too, yeah. But I love the ta I used to like the taste. The ta yes, the taste. taste. I used to like the taste. Yes. But then when I see um, how it's made, it makes me yes. feel yes. sick. The same, the and same. I feel bad for the animals. Yeah. I feel guilty. Exactly. Yeah. Put yourself in the animal's body and imagine what it would feel like for them if it were you. When we pay for meat, you pay for animals to be hurt. Without, if you don't pay, these but, places shut down. I, I know, I know, it's, it's, it's um, we have to do this, but there is. That's okay. There, there are persons. Yeah. Uh, who don't know what is it and uh, 
Je sais comment dire. There will always be no. There will always be people who will eat it. Yes. But you won't. Yes, I know. So so let me give give you You know um yes well do you hurt people? No. Okay, why? There's always going to be people who hurt people. If you stop hurting people, it won't change everything, but it'll change in your life. You won't be hurting animals anymore. Okay? Oh gosh. <laughs> I can't watch you, this. Yeah, it's hard. So it's called appealing to futility when someone says if they stop consuming animal products, this is still going to happen. You can't stop all the violence, so why should I stop? But you could apply that same reasoning in the human context and say, look, I mean, people are always going to abuse their wife or abuse children or, you know, uh, abuse dogs and cats. So why should I stop? Why shouldn't, why, you know, people would never apply that same justification in the human context because it would sound ridiculous, you know? We stop in our own lives because we adhere to a moral system. And why should that moral system change when it comes to animals? It just shouldn't. Every single person here in that cube, every single uh, vegan you see here, grew up eating the flesh of animals. But uh, I think um, children of the future don't have to grow up with Only if you make a change now yes, yes, and you it's teach. Hard. It's hard yeah. for, every, for everyone. It's hard, but, it's, but, but let's just talk. Don't worry about everyone. Let's just talk about you, yes. you the power you I, have. I try. I you try. have this power. I swear I try. <laughs> well, you. I mean, I can see you have a big heart. I mean, you're a com compassionate person. It makes you sad because you feel what they feel. And that's good. That's what I do too. It hurts my heart every day. And instead of um, now, I try to convince people to stop doing this to them because you're our only hope you're their only hope the animal's only hope this here challenge 22 you can try a vegan lifestyle where every time I think of um, you know eating meat when I first went vegan I think of the animals and I don't call it meat anymore. You know what I call it? Animals. I think of who I'm eating, not what I'm eating. Who was it? Yeah. We appreciate that. That's a good one, eh? I feel like I'm in such a good mood right now, eh? Considering we're so tired. Like I was so tired before, like I felt like death warmed up. Now I feel like Gary Orofsky on Outreach. <laughs> Without our money, this doesn't happen. Thank you. Dude, like I'm trying to get a card out and it was just like...